So there is a lot of traffic on the River Rhine these days. Uh, it has been on the top of the cargo uh, ships, uh, also passenger vessels that uh, move around uh, uh, the River Rhine. The tourism started uh, in 18th century and it started with uh, Englishmen that uh, were traveling to the southern part of Europe, to Italy, to Greece, to Spain, to visit the palaces and the noble families on their ground tour. And returning, they were sailing down the river Rhine. Uh, this is one of the places where Mozart uh, was staying as well. He traveled the Rhine. He was uh, living and working in Mannheim, not far from here. Uh, so frequently he was traveling uh, up and down here. In front of us on the left, uh, there is one of the uh, oldest uh, little towns here on the Rhine. It's called Wellmlich. It has the oldest church in a Romanesque style. Rheinfels is smaller, but imagine it could house uh, up to 2,000 soldiers. It was an imperial uh, castle or imperial fortress uh, founded in 1100 uh, of Europe in those days. You cannot rule it from one spot which is Aachen uh, in the western part of Germany. You have to travel constantly across the entire empire and um, always for a couple of weeks you stay at the different castles and fortresses that were built under your rule and from there you're overseeing of course the, the country and the works and the uh, building material from the demolished fortress here. So we've seen the castle mouse, the castle cat, cats, is in front of us on the left. You here looking at the Rock of Lorelei, the castle. Cuts me just uh, pass. You have so well, many RV life here in Europe. Hiking into the woods, uh, um, a hundred meters wide. This is the narrowest and the deepest spot here on the Rhine, on the entire stretch. Lorelei. Mean bottom, bottom left. I don't know what the parts mean, but they tell you where the ships are. So it lets the captain know what he needs to do as he comes around this corner. How does it tell him? I don't know. I'm not a captain. Yeah, I don't think you have to be a captain to know. Listen here. Listen. So again, what was the reason for your first wife? My first wife? Uh, no car. No car. So it was just lack of being able to go anywhere else. You know? Pickens were slim. And the second? The second was... She was a co-worker, so it was just convenient. And the third? Match.com, baby. You kept leaving me messages, and apparently I didn't answer. Finally, I was like, ah, I better answer this girl. I should have stopped sending messages. You should have. Now we're in Germany. So we just got done playing shuffleboard, and um, just so everyone knows out there what happened... Who officially won that game? I did. You know that it's not golf where low score wins, right? Yeah. Who won? We're both winners because we're together. Wasn't the Son of Christ. How do you know that? Because he was just a man who got nailed to a cross. Were you there? I was. How do you know that for a fact? Everyone knows he got nailed to a cross. No one disputes that. Actually, there there are people that dispute every part of Jesus. Oh, he was real. Okay, you were there once again.
Sachini, 